Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Cinnamon Streusel Dessert Pizza. That's right, today we are doing a dessert pizza and for me this is a really nostalgic one because this recipe is modeled after the Cinnamon Streusel Dessert Pizza I used to get as a kid at Godfather's Pizza. I remember after baseball game, you'd go to Godfather's with all your buddies, you run to the back of the shop because they had a Rampage arcade machine then you hit the buffet and you always finish it off with the cinnamon streusel dessert pizza with the vanilla icing on top. It's simple, it's fun. Get the kids involved in this one. They're gonna have a great time. Let's jump right in. We're gonna start with the streusel topping and that requires equal parts. We got three quarter cup each of cold unsalted butter and all purpose flour. We're gonna add to that a cup of brown sugar couple teaspoons of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of whiskey barrel smoked salt. And then we'll fit this thing with the uh, paddle attachment here. And we're just gonna let it work until it breaks down the butter into little crumbles. So about three to five minutes into this, you're gonna start to see these butter crumbles breaking down into like pea-sized pieces. What you're looking for is you want to be able to clump it together like that so you'll have these bigger crumbles. Should kind of hold together. And that's exactly what we'll do when we put it on top of the pizza. Just give it a squeeze and crumble it on top. So now we'll go ahead and put together our vanilla icing. We're starting with three cups of powdered sugar, a tablespoon vanilla extract, and then we'll start off with a quarter cup of whole milk and we don't have to go all of it at the same time. Just wanna make sure we get this at the right consistency. And then you can add more milk as needed to thin it out. So this part's totally up to you. If you want your icing to kind of be runny and cover most of the surface, then thin it out more. If you want it to kind of hold together and hold a pattern on top, keep it thicker like this. So like I said, it's a really simple recipe. Other than the pizza dough, those are the only two ingredients. So let's get the dough stretched out and start cooking this pizza. Now this is the same pizza dough that we use all the time on this channel. You can absolutely go check out our tips and techniques on how to make pizza dough, four simple ingredients. It's really easy to do. Or of course you can just buy your dough at the store if you like. So we're just gonna stretch this out by hand. Should give us a nice big, probably 12 to 14 inch pizza. A little flour down on our peel. Dough on top. Make sure it'll shimmy. And then we crumble. So the recipe we've done today will make you about two pizzas, just for reference. Of course, you can use as much or as little streusel topping as you want. That looks just about right. All right, so we're gonna slide this right on the deck of the Unicota 16 gas-powered oven. This should go fairly quick, even over the lower setting of heat. It's a quick cooking oven. So we'll be spinning this every 20, 30 seconds to brown it evenly. It's cooking from the left side and from the back side, which is nice, you get double coverage, but you still gotta do some rotations to cook evenly. Oh yeah. So we've got this great brulee technique. You, you wanna make sure to develop all that sugary flavor just by getting just a touch, just a little touch of char right on top. Really deepens the flavor of the dessert pizza. But you know, you gotta take it just a little bit further. We're not quite there. I would really only use this technique though on April Fool's Day, so. All right, we're looking pretty good. Nice blistering on the bottom. Great browning on top. We're ready to pull this off, hit it with the icing. All right, gonna do it Godfather style with the swirl here. That's it, it's so easy. It's such an easy addition to your pizza night too. Great way to round it out. All 
All right, let's have a bite. All right. Ooh. Crunchy. Pillowy dough. Cinnamon sugar flavor. It takes me back. This tastes like childhood right here. That was a lot of fun. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.